What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Johnny Finesse. Welcome back to the channel. And today we have another woozy video Confessions of a Disney employee number three. If you're new to the channel, haven't subscribed yet, hit that sub button. Yeah, hit that sub button, hit the bell notifications too, so you don't miss anything again. And also, don't forget to smash the like button. That being said, let's get into it. The place you've ever worked. For me, still Disney. And I don't know if it was my love for Disney or if I just love to get out the house. If you've ever had overprotective parents, you know exactly. Nah, that, like, working at, like, a amusement park or anything, that shit would probably be cool as hell. Cool as hell. You get to go on rides for free. Like, that's crazy. Exactly what I'm talking about. When I first got my car, my mom was calling me. Every two and a half seconds. Where are you? I just looked in your room. <laughs> and you're not here. Mom, it's nine in the morning. I'm at school. And every time you leave the That's house, crazy. you feel like you're Michael Schofield for a few hours, breaking out of jail. So I never talked about this in my other Disney videos, but I actually remember the day I went in to apply. You start with a phone interview, and if you do good on the phone interview, they bring you in for the hard stuff. The personality the test. test. The I had a friend, test. William, who... The test. Oh, man. Worked custodial at Magic Kingdom, so he helped coach me on how to. Oh um, man, I remember these things. Like it's either very right or very wrong. Like take the test. All I, I know is I wanted to work I with nice something in food nice. because all I remember I nice. from every time I've ever went to Disney ever was how amazing the food smelled. And I also very clearly remember my parents never buying me food ever at Disney. We're at Disney for eight hours, and I'm like. <laughs> I'm hungry, please. The food is too expensive here. When we'd walk past <laughs> restaurants, I had to use every ounce of willpower not to crawl over to other families and be like, are you guys done with that chicken? So I just assumed if I worked in food and beverage, I'm gonna get free food. So I know it sounds a little crazy, but my goal but, yeah. was to be that guy at that kiosk selling the Mickey Mouse ice cream bars. So I go in, I smash that personality test. Congratulations, you're hired. Which park do you want to work at? Studios. Okay, well, here are all the available positions at studios. Okay, um, so if you select food and beverage, you'll be handling money? And you gotta take a math test. Uh, I get this math test. Tough. I haven't seen questions this easy since the fourth grade. Addition, subtraction, multiplication. I give it back to her. Mm, you failed. Do you wanna pick maybe another position? Wow, that's crazy. You would think you would pass it the way he was talking, but she got him. I know that if y'all took a basic math test that you know you passed and you failed, you would feel some type of way too. I would feel some type of way. Instantly no kicked in the thug mode. No talk to me nice, or don't talk at all. I stay hugging the block. Lady, is you disrespecting my gangster right now? Acts about me. Man, give me that test. In my head, that's how I sounded, but maybe in reality it came out something like, Oh no, that is not oakley dokely. Mm -hmm. May I retake it, please? Take the test again, give it back to her. <laughs> you failed. You sure you don't want to do, mm, I don't know, anything else? So I put attractions and that's how I ended up working at the Indiana Jones show. Something else that uh. happens whenever I go to the park with my friends, a lot of people stop me and they tell me they applied for Disney because they saw the other videos. I'm gonna warn you right now, you gonna stand a lot. This is how they sneakily prepare you for this at orientation. They just say stuff like, while you're at work, don't lean. <laughs> <laughs> but that's with every job. You're never supposed to lean. Like Here's the thing. I'm a gamer, and the standing position is my enemy. You remember in Lion King when Simba ran away, and he was laying there in the desert about to die? That was me 10 minutes after I clocked in on my first day. I'm laying there. My lips are all chapped. <gasps> Water, water. Also, <laughs> smiling Yo, all the time. Yo, animations is crazy. Like this at Disney, crazy. as an employee, is in the job description. I would do that. However, comma, smiling when nobody's around, I'm not gonna do that. When people come around the corner and they're walking by, I'm gonna smile like, hey, hi, how you doing? Have a nice day. That's part of my job description. But when there's nobody around and it's me and you at greeter spot, I'm not gonna sit here like. Hm, 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 hm. I'm so happy, happy, happy. 
If somebody from my hood <laughs> came to my car and saw me from a distance smiling for no reason, my hood card would get invalidated instantly. A lot of y'all don't know this and I probably shouldn't reveal this in the video, but at this point it's whatever. We have secret black people meetings. It's like when Nick Cannon wore that leopard outfit to, uh, I don't know, some MTV award show. My parents woke me up at like two o'clock in the morning. Ladani, wake up, emergency meeting right now. We're all here on Skype with the West Coast chapter. Like they're trying to figure out what to do with this dude. And we all voted to take his black card and put him on a 30 day what? probation. This is a real thing. I'm not making this up. I can't be out here smiling for no reason. Full stop. I had a great experience working with the company. However, comma, I feel like with my managers and my coworkers, this is a lot of stuff and a lot of situations that could have been handled differently. That's no tea, no shade. No, I was the perfect Disney cast member when I first got hired, but there's a lot of things that happened that kind of just pushed me to the dark side. Karen, and I don't mean guests and people coming into the park. I mean my coworkers. The first tiff I ran into at work was the second weekend after I got hired. But I do mm. remember at training, the guy that trained me, his name was John. John mm. said, blah, 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 stairs mm. is all I remember. And I don't know oh, how many of y'all oh, know oh, this, man. but every single Indiana Jones show sells out. His family comes up to me. Sir, we have nowhere to sit. May we just sit right here in the floor? Me? Yeah, yeah, why not? Sure, you can sit right there. I put the family on the stairs, go to break, 15 minutes later, come back. So I'm chilling at Greeter. Sarah walks up to me. Um, okay, that's crazy. Um, I got this family sitting on the stairs, and, and they told me that you told them that they could sit on the stairs. This grown woman really just brought an audience to disrespect my gangster right now? Yeah. My inner gangster popped off. Yo, talk to me nice, or don't talk at all. I'll put you on citizen, right now. In reality, what nice. I most likely said was, yeah, I let him sit on the stairs. <laughs> wow. wow, wow. Um, <clears throat> who said that you could do that? John told me I could do it. Oh, John told oh, you this? Oh, well, let's go talk to him. Oh, the animations is crazy. Sarah takes me and herself out of rotation, walk all the way over to Star Tours. Is John, where's John? Is John over in this section? Uh, no. We leave Star Tours and she's going to like every attraction. She's over here like, no sleep, Star Tours, Toy Story Mania, tram, another tram, another <laughs> tram, plane, Tokyo Disney. Yo, what the fuck? No sleep. We finally find John That's in crazy. another section of the park. Tell John what you just told me. We can let people sit on the stairs? No, we can't. No, I never told you that. John was looking at us like, why are y'all even here? You see what I mean? These are the kind of people I- Nah, nah, those type of people are the people that just want some stripes. Like, they, they want some stripes, they want to move up, but that's not how you move up for real. Like, you gotta do hard work, then do shit like that. You know what I'm saying? I had to work with at my like, attraction. That's OD though. Like you went, you really went around the whole shit. Like it's not no small shit. Every single day. But let me tell y'all who the real stars of Disney are: the guests. Y'all need Jesus. Do y'all know that there are guests out there who their life mission is to end up at Disney jail? I'm being dead serious. Google, look, look it up. How funny would it be if Disney jail was like? a speakeasy private club, you know? There's a guy next to a soda machine, right? When you walk up to the guy, he's gonna be like, what's the best word? Misa, Mosca, Mickey Mouse. You go behind <laughs> the soda machine, you walk down a tunnel, you jump on a slide and you go to a bottom floor and you first enter, there's a bunch of Disney characters. It's the Mickey Mouse jailhouse. Come inside, there's fun inside. And Mickey's over there like, everybody say, oh, Toodles. Toodles is over there sharpening his toothbrush, making a shank. That would also explain why we don't see any more Disney villains in the parks because they're all in Disney jail and doing meet and greets. You're the photo pass guy taking your mug shot and you know they got a food court down in there. And each prison cell what? has different themes. How funny would it be if at the end of your jail sentence, like Mickey's there to try to scare you straight, like they put you in that interrogation room. You think this is a game? <laughs> you think this is a <laughs> game? They leave, the next family comes in. Get the camera out of my face. You think this is a game? This is how we're gonna do things. <laughs> Biggie. Sounds very outlandish, 
bitch, but this is the kind of stuff I would think about when I'm stuck at greeter spot, not smiling. That's crazy. That was a good one, but if you made it to the end of the video, you obviously like the video, so you obviously gotta subscribe. Hit that sub button. Make sure you tap that bell notifications too, and don't forget to smash the like button. I love each and every one here.